What's an enterprise app in Intra-ID, formerly Azure AD? Um, I used to do Microsoft tutorials where they would explain how to create an app registration when you were wanting to use Intra for the authentication for your application. The app registration is where you would get your client ID and your client secret. Um, so that made sense to me, but I would see something else in Intra, the Enterprise app, and I could find some information in the documentation, but I didn't really have a concept of what it was and what was different than an app registration because they seemed similar. So it turns out it's a really quick answer. The app registration is what the publisher of the application uses to, um, to register the application in the Intra ID ecosystem, if you will. The Enterprise app is the side, they're kind of two sides of the same coin. An Enterprise app always points to an app registration, um, but it may not point to an app registration in your Intra tenant. Uh, that's because primarily to do SSO, some software publishers register their uh, application in um, Intra to let organizations do SSO. For instance, if you go to look at a, uh, when you go to set up a new enterprise app, you can see there are some things listed in the marketplace like AWS, Google Cloud, Oracle, SAP. Obviously, these are not applications that came out of my uh, intra tenant, but they've been published as a multi tenant application by their respective publishers. So AWS has an intra tenant where they've created an app registration, a multi tenant app registration. And so now users from my tenant can log in to that. And if I do, if a user from my tenant logs in, an enterprise app will be created in my tenant pointing to the app registration in, in this case, AWS's tenant. So if we go look at a specific one, this is one that's that I've created both sides of. The enterprise app is to allow the user administrator on the consuming side, if you will, to have control of what that admin, what that organization's users are doing with the application. So the first thing is, you by default, any um, user in the consuming tenant can um, can access it, but the consuming admin can come here and control either through users and groups what um, users are allowed to use this application. Uh, the using admin can control what claims are mapped from an SSO point of view uh, and can look at what the permissions are. These are the permissions that the publisher, in this case I'm both sides of it, requested in the app registration and um, can review those and can grant or consent. So as you get into it, uh, there's a lot more details in the documentation, but what I found missing was just the beginning point of what is an app registration, I'm sorry, what is an enterprise app, and it turns out that's the answer. It's the using side uh, of the app registration and allows the consuming users, admins, to control it. And that's it. Thank you.